Today you're going to learn how to make your sprite spin. The first thing we need to do is we need to click create in the top upper left corner. You can use the cat or if you would like you can click on the circle with the cat and the plus sign in it. Click on that and then you could pick a new sprite. So I think I will pick the bat. Now maybe you don't want the cat anymore, so if you come down here, click on it, you're going to click on the little X with the trash can in it, and the cat will go away. So I need to go over here, and I need to grab an event block. So that tells the program to start doing something in the code. And then I need to go into the motion blocks, which are blue. So I'm gonna click turn 15 degrees. We will click the flag and the bat does turn slightly. All right, well, I think I want the bat to kind of spin around and around and around. So if we go over to the orange block, you can get the control. And last time we used the repeat block, but this time we're gonna use forever. And this is called a loop. You're going to put the turn block inside and this will be called a loop because it does it over and over and over again. So we're going to hit the flag and look, our bat is spinning. Okay, we might want to put a weight block in there. Now that made him spin too slow, so let's try 0.5. Okay, he's still too slow. We're going to go even smaller, so we'll say 0.25. It's still too slow. 0.10. And then he spins a little bit slower so that we could see him a bit more. We're going to stop it. And notice that our bat is upside down and I don't want my sprite to be upside down when I start my program again. So I'm going to go back to the motion block and I'm going to grab a piece of code that says point in direction 90 and I'm going to click that underneath. Let's see what happens. Okay, he did start in the right direction but I want to make sure so I'm going to click control. I'm going to put a weight underneath the point in direction. We'll click the flag. Okay, he went back to the right position. I'll stop him when he's upside down so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna click the flag. It puts it right back to where it's supposed to be. And that's how you get your sprite back to its original position after it's been spinning around. Well, I hope you have fun with this project, making your sprite spin and I will see you next time. Have a great day.